Hello, grade two. Okay, welcome back. So we are now in our last subject, science. Okay, our topic for today is needs of animals to live and grow. I will repeat, needs of animals to live and grow. So the first one is the animals need food in order for them to live. Animals eat different kinds of food. They need food to sustain them. So if you have animals in your house, make sure that you are feeding them properly. Next is the another thing that animals need is water. Animals drink water. They are refreshed when they drink water. Like us, we feel refreshed when we drink water and we also need water. So also animals they need waters. Animals need water in order for their bodies to function well. And the last one is air and sunlight. Goats and other animals do not live inside a house. They live in open spaces. They need sunshine and air to grow and stay healthy. So we have food, water, air, and sunlight so how these are the ways to show concern for animals okay number one give your pets enough food to drink and water to uh, give your pets enough food to eat and water to drink so if you are doing this it means you are showing concern to your animals or to your pets number two provide a clean place for your animals so you should provide them a clean place for them to stay. Number three, when you play with your pets, do not hurt them. Okay, that's number three. And number four, you need to help protect animals. So if you saw someone um, hitting other animals, you need to tell them that it is not good. So that is helping to protect animals. So what do you think will happen if people keep on killing animals? Okay, harmful ways of fishing like this one and hunting this one will lessen the number of animals on earth. Animals that live in water will be killed if fishers do not stop using dynamite in fishing not only the fish but also the corals okay nasisira din yung mga corals and dun sa mga corals nandun yung mga small fishes yung mga bagong mga fish okay so they will not grow na they magi mamamatay na sila right and animals that live animals in the jungle this one will all die if hunters do not follow the hunting laws. So it's okay to hunt, but you need to follow some guidelines, okay? So before you hunt for animals, you need to follow, there are some guidelines on hunting, okay? So how animals help us? There's a lot, okay? So animals help us in different ways. That is why we should show our love and concern for them. They give us food. So from this one, from the cow, we can get meat as well as milk, right? From the chicken, you meat nan chicken, and also eggs, fish. Okay, we can eat the fish. And then the so goat will can get some cheese so they give us food so some animals are trained to do a particular work a dog is usually trained to guard a place it barks when a stranger comes near in your house and it may even attack the stranger a dog may also be used by a police officer to trap people they they are good in smelling. So, for example, um, this is, um, we need to find you. They're gonna smell. Uh, they're gonna give 
your clothes and then the dog will smell it and then the dog can trap you okay can find you wherever you are and some dogs are trained to smell prohibited drugs so these are these dogs are in the airport okay next other animals like the owl and the cat this one is cat help people too the cat catches rat in the house while the owls eat rats that destroy plants look at the two they're biting a rat so even small animals like the earthworms are useful they help make the soil fertile other animals such as spiders help people too they eat insects pests that harm the plants or even other animals the harmful animals like mosquitoes okay so how do we protect ourselves from the harmful animals okay unvaccinated dogs maybe may have rabies when the rog, dog bites you the dog's rabies can spread all over your body and can cause death 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 have your pet dog vaccinated against rabies so it cannot harm you and other people mosquitoes can cause dengue and malaria and chikungunya a person with dengue has a very high fever he she he or she vomits and the rashes come out of his or her skin and blood can also come out from his ears and nose okay some animals such as flies rats and cockroaches carry germs that can cause diarrhea typhoid fever and cholera so the things you can do to protect yourself from the harmful animals so what are you gonna do do not disturb other animals do not touch or tinker with animal shelters like beehives and anthills do not touch the newborn puppies or you can hurt them the mother dog can also hurt you as a means of protecting her puppies avoid going to places with tall and thick grass as a grass snake may be present there always keep your surroundings clean cockroaches flies and rats breed in dirty places so please get your book and open it on page 135 open it on page 135 you are going to write yes in the blank before each item if the sentence is correct and no if it is not okay number one animals need homes to protect them yes or no number two all animals can build their own homes yes or no all animals can build their own homes next number three animals need water to drink animals need water to drink yes or no next number four without food animals will die without food animals will die yes or no next number five a cat is a pet that lives in a cage a cat is a pet that lives in a cage yes or no number six a dog may be used by police officers i will repeat number six a dog may be used by police officers number seven spiders 
spin their own web. Spiders spin their own web. Number eight. Birds build their own nest. Number eight. Birds build their own nest. Yes or no? Number nine. Goats live inside a house. Goats live inside a house. Yes or no? And the last one. Some animals carry germs. Some animals carry germs. Okay, for your assignment, study for our quiz tomorrow. Take a picture of page 135 and send it in our class dojo. Thank you, everyone, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.